All right, so we have another uh, text to image demo. Um, I was maybe planning on spreading these out or was hoping that uh, maybe um, Stable Diffusion wouldn't come out so soon. I'd have like a couple weeks to like sort of uh, tease out my text to image class. Um, but instead, today, Stable Diffusion launched publicly. So there's a bunch of tools that um, are now available to people. So we'll kind of play with things and we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll maybe record a couple different videos on using uh, Stable Diffusion um, over the next couple days. Um, so for those of you who have not yet seen what Stable Diffusion is, Stable Diffusion is sort of the new hot text image model. Um, I would say the big plus selling point of it is that it does create pretty stable images, um, meaning they're they're pretty accurate. Uh, they look pretty realistic, um, which, you know, over the past year and a half plus of text image has sort of been like creeping slowly, like toward um, almost full realism. Um, and I think Stable Diffusion is sort of that next step there. So one of the cool things is there's a bunch of new tools that we'll look at. So there's a hugging face space. There's this tool, which we're going to look at, which is called Dream Studio. Um, and then there's also a collab notebook. So I'll kind of like record different videos for each of those. Um, and we can just sort of like go through these. So these are sort of my first time using some of these tools. Um, so I might just kind of play around with it and see what happens. Um, so let's start by looking at Dream Studio. So Dream Studio is, uh, it seems like it's sort of the GUI uh, for Stable Diffusion. Um, I don't know if it's just the Stable Diffusion tools or if they're going to add other things in here. Um, I would guess they're probably going to add additional tools in here. Um, but I've sort of seen some people playing with this, and I thought it would be really cool to sort of check it out. Because, you know, I like GUI tools, or, like, I understand that other people like GUI tools. Collab can be fun, um, but can be pretty daunting to, the, to new users. So let's take a look at Dream Studio. So Dream Studio is at beta.dreamstudio.ai. You do need to create an account with the Stability AI folks. Um, you just go in, create an account, and then you have to confirm it over your email address, and then it brings you in here. It looks like they're already working on some sort of credit image, credits per image tool. Um, so I don't know when they're going to charge for this. I guess I maybe could have looked at their FAQ before getting in here, but um, I get a sense like there will very likely be some sort of format here where they're going to charge for things. Uh, apparently it's a membership. Let's take a look real quick. Um, it looks like there is buying a membership. So you can mem purchase it for £10, um, which I guess is, I don't know what that is in USD these days. Um, but that gets you 1,000 standard generations. Looks like just by signing up, I didn't give them any credit card information or anything. So it looks like they're giving you sort of 200 generations of free credit. So you can sort of start to see like this is maybe like mid-journey or like other tools that they're moving toward a model where they're going to start charging for um, image generation. Cool. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I understand these companies need money. Um, we will also, in a later video, look at the collab versions. If you want to use these tools for free, you can. But you don't get these nice GUI tools. And I think like this is sort of what I think um, you know artists who are not maybe as familiar with code want to play with. So let's take a look at this tool. So this is just the Dream. So I assume if you just hit Dream here, you'll get this. Um, and I can see already that there is some width options. So leaving it at 512 by 512 is the default. Um, there is also this config scale. So this adjusts how much the image will be like your prompt. So the higher you crank this up, um, the keeps your image closer. So I guess the lower you have this, the more like diversity or like randomness there is in here. Let's kind of set that toward the middle. Let's do 10 steps. So steps is, if you're watching my previous videos on how diffusion works, diffusion always requires a certain number of steps. It goes from straight noise or Gaussian blur essentially into uh, the final image. So see here that steps um, can be changed depending on what you set here. Um, everything I've read about uh, stable diffusion so far says you can set it pretty low. Um, they don't require a ton of steps to get to an accurate place. So let's try 20 here, just sort of see where we get. Number of images, so you can generate multiple images if you would like. So you can generate up to 10. I looks like credits per image. I guess when I crank this up and down, is that right? No, okay. so. Um, looks like you can just sort of generate this and it'll say credits per image. Maybe this is steps. If I crank up steps, yeah. So see how if I crank up my steps, I'm getting charged more. And if I turn it down, I'm getting charged less. So this is, again, maybe you want to sketch out some ideas based on prompts. Um, and then, you know, you don't want to crank up using too many images, but maybe let's try three here. And there's a sampler. Um, and it looks like there are a couple different options here. Um, I don't exactly know the difference between these. I do know that I've used DDIM before, um, but let's leave it at the default. 
So maybe for in a future video or maybe in my class, I'll actually cover what some of these things are. Um, and then lastly, we've got our prompt. So your prompt goes down here at the bottom. Um, so we let's just uh, a dream of a distant gallery. Let's just remove the artist and leave it at matte painting trending on ArtStation HQ. Once you've set up all your changes here, you can go ahead and hit dream. And the thing you'll find about stable diffusion is it's actually quite fast. Um, so compared to disco diffusion or other diffusion tools, um, it's pretty fast in how quickly it can represent. And here already you can see in 20 steps, um, it was able to generate a fair, this one's pretty nice. I like these two. This one in the middle is a little, if I were looking for realism, uh, that sphere is a little gnarly, a little messed up, but um, still I've got some interesting options here and it looks like it's pretty easy to just download one of these. And from there, I can maybe see, let's see how many credits this set I used up. Cool. So it says that I used up one generation, I guess. So that's cool. Um, it didn't actually really cost me that much. Um, I guess it cost me, you know, 0.12 pounds. Maybe that's like 10 cents um, in USD or something. Um, so go back to Dream. Oh, it did reset. Uh, okay, well, that's a little annoying. Didn't save my, my didn't save my um, settings here, but I bet if I go to history. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you will lose these when you leave. That's a little frustrating. Would have downloaded all those had I known that. Let's see if it works. Info. Save image as. Let's see if this saves out. That looks kind of small. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's frustrating. Um, so I guess it looks like, you know, if you generate three images, make sure you download all three images or you will lose them. Um, it looks like you can do this thing called Redream, which I guess will just regenerate an image, maybe like it. Uh, this does save your settings. Oh, I guess, you know what? It saves your width, your height, and your seed, and maybe some other config things. So maybe if I just hit this again, it will just regenerate. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like it re it does regenerate your image. So in this case, right, not ideal, but uh, I was able to regenerate it. And it looks like it actually changed, so it didn't keep my steps setting. So, all right, this is a beta tool, not perfect, um, but I'm just doing some interesting things here. And I do think it gets to a point where this will be a lot easier for folks who are not used to using Colab or not using used to using other tools. So I think there's some interesting... Uh, opportunities here to play with this. Um, it is beta. They're giving me these credits for free. I didn't give them my credit card information or anything. So you can kind of screw around and sort of make mistakes like I just did um, without being charged. And then once you have a better sense of how the tool works, you can go ahead and expand it. Um, yeah, so that is uh, using diffusion or stable diffusion inside of Dream Studio. One thing you'll notice is there is not like a way to generate video out of this. There's not a uh, initialized image like you might get with Disco. So Stable Diffusion is pretty basic uh, to start with. I would assume that all these tools are very rapidly going to expand into including initialized images, generating video, all these other things. I actually know the Stability AI folks are working with Runway. Um, and I think I saw something that they're going to bring um, text to video to come pretty soon. So I think there's a lot of cool stuff coming here. Um, let's see what else is over here. So we've got Prompt Guide. So this is a pretty interesting, I mean, if you've never done um, any of uh, any text to image stuff, you might find this pretty helpful. So um, this will just sort of break down how you might go about uh, generating a better image based on prompt engineering. Um, I've also seen some guides on Twitter about how stable diffusion differs from maybe Dolly or Midjourney. Um, so I'll see if I can grab some of those and maybe post the links in our video description. Um, but overall, like I actually think this is a pretty cool tool. Knowing that Runway is kind of moving away from this kind of experience and really focusing on video, I think there's an opportunity for some like Dream Studio to step in and actually sort of like make a case for having tools like this that are available to uh, people who are not super code friendly um, or not as familiar with code. Um, so I think so far I'm pretty excited about Dream Studio. Uh, obviously some bugs in beta, but again, I got free credit, so I can't really complain too much. Um, so this was taken as of, I think, August 22nd. Um, so my guess is like in the next couple weeks, next month, maybe through the end of the year, 
uh, Dream Studio will have a lot of changes. I can definitely imagine seeing that happening. Um, so go ahead and play with Dream Studio. Uh, I don't have any referral code or anything to give you. Um, just go to beta.dreamstudio.ai, and I think they'll just give you the two pounds of free credits up front. Um, so you can go ahead and play with that. Um, and then, you know, if you make something cool, let me know. Uh, so I will be doing a bunch more Stable Diffusion videos over this week. Um, I just was really excited to sort of see Dream Studio because I kind of missed that runway feel. Um, it looks like this is kind of approaching that idea. Um, I'll do one. Um, there's a Hugging Face space we'll do, and then there's also a collab. So I'll go through the collab um, maybe tomorrow or the day after because I think that's really where people will want to be able to play with a lot of the code um, directly and be able to manipulate it, and that's going to be free. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you are interested in more text-to-image, um, I will be teaching a class uh, starting in the middle of October. Um, East Coast time, evenings, um, but I might, will very likely also be doing an audit version. So if you're anywhere on the globe and you just want to hang out in a Slack channel um, and get the videos day of, I'll make that available as well. Um, I've sent out the link to folks on uh, my Patreon and on my U10 membership. Um, if you want to join, you'll find that link. Um, minimum is like a dollar a month. It's pretty cheap. Uh, if you want to be first to get access to that class when it goes public, which will probably happen in the next week or two, um, you can sign up on my newsletter. All right, uh, that's enough for me today. I hope you found this video enjoyable, and I hope you start to have fun with Stable Diffusion. Thanks.